Tape is rolling. I think everything is updated. Get I've got ready. sound. On the radio. Not yet. Getting close. Getting ready. Wait for it. Quiet on this. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello. Yo. All right, now it's that time. Quiet on the set, boys and girls. Getting ready to go live on the radio. Q music. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. Quiet on the set! You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia and no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. Jack's and, not here. That's right. And Jack's not here, but Scrota still holding his grudge until he gets his apology and not giving up Jack's seat. So we've got Scrota here today, of course. Uh, we got Mom joining us in the room. I see folks already starting to wander Play a song, on though. in. Yeah, of course. I bet you will. <laughs> Oh, why didn't you cue the music when I said cue music? That's that. That's your I thought cue, you were man. talking about the music for the <laughs> intro. I was like, why did you ask what? <laughs> I wasn't but, sure what you meant. Welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Taco Tuesday, July 14th, 2020, right here. Inside and outside, shout of the Avatar. Eagle, how are you out there today, my friend? We gotta get this announcements out there. And then we'll get a giveaway set up. I've got some new stuff for you. I've got uh, new giveaways because Laz has just gone crazy. So let me get <clears throat> let me get the world spam announcement out first and then we'll tell you all a little bit about that. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Come on. Daily spam. I should I should probably preface it with that. Yeah. Daily spam. Maybe on Friday I'll change it just before the weekend for giggles and grins. <laughs> All right, spam is out. Waldo, thank you very much. With the obligatory 100 bits getting us started every day. Always appreciate you, my, bread, my friend. That's for sure. Crafty Method, what's going on? Hey. Din Huru, I see you out there. Scrod is the word. Is that what you're saying? Word. <laughs> word. Word is the word. Boy, that's a, that was a long face mask. All right. <clears throat> anyway, is, uh, let me cue this up real quick, because uh, 
I've been watching this for a while and debating on this. Uh, I'm a big fan of Fanatical for games and getting my games dirt cheap and finding new stuff to dink around with and play. And they run these sales all the time, so I went ahead and said, you know what, I'm going to buy a bunch of them, give them away. Eagle, thank you very much. 300 bits. 300 bits. So what I did is I went out and I bought a bunch of golden mystery bundles. Uh, actually, uh, 50, well, hold on, let me get there. Let me, let me get this up on screen. I thought I already switched over. So, I've got uh, 50 mystery keys sitting here, and uh, I'm going to be giving these away. So, uh, at the end of today's show, we're going to be giving away a mystery key. You never know what's in these keys. I've gotten some cool stuff, and let me see if I can just uh, <clears throat> pull up. I don't know if I want to go leave that screen up while I do that. But give you an idea of a bundle that I actually ordered and opened for myself, and that's why I decided to do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the bundle I actually opened up, and these keys are all used, so I don't worry about you guys seeing them. You can't redeem them. But Roads of Rome, Sid Meier Civilization V, the Atari Vault, uh, Resort Boss Golf, Viking Saga, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. And the game I gave away because this was a duplicate for me, uh, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. But uh, got all those in the bundle, and I says, oh, well, there's some pretty cool games in there. Maybe I should give away some of these games to these folks. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be giving these away uh, next few weeks. I got 50 game keys to give away. Never know where they're going to come up, but I can tell you the first one's coming up at the end of today's show, so you're going to want to stick around because all sorts of stuff. That's just a small sampling of what I got in the uh, in the one bundle that I bought for myself and checked out. And of course, uh, you won't know until we get to the end and we pick it out and open it up. So I'm not even going to know ahead of time to tell you what you're going to be winning. It's going to be a mystery to both of us. And of course, these are Steam keys. So you're going to need to redeem these on Steam. And they're redeemable just about anywhere Steam is. So we don't have to worry about that either. Don't have to worry about that. What do you think, Scrota? Does that sound like something fun to do for giveaways? I thought so. Yeah, games are good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen other people do it, and I've always tried to stay away from it, but I mean, it was a deal I couldn't pass up, so I figure, what the hey, you know, people seem to like those, and uh, I haven't been out taming any horses lately, so I can't give away any horses till I go out and tame some more, which I'll probably do later on today, because horses are coming, you're gonna want to have your horse to ride it. And there's Horsey, yeah, speaking of horses, there's Horsey. Making the cameo. <laughs> and bring him out front. <laughs> he won't move. You can't see him back there. He won't move. There you, there you go. I tell him to shit. There you go. Now Horsey's up front. And I still can't see him because I'm on top of him. <laughs> All right. Good to go. Crafty, you know, that would be uh, a, a really cool effect. Um, they they actually have that effect in uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, all sorts of other stuff uh, with the horse effects. I don't think we'll ever get close to uh, those kind of effects that they put in a game like that, but uh, they've got some funny-ass shit, you know. You get to a cliff and your horse just stops and he dumps you over the cliff and you die. You know, shit like that happens. You know, that, that would be cool if we had those mechanics here. You know, you ride up to a cliff, your horse says, I ain't going, but you are. And uh, over the cliff you go. We shall see. All I know is it's being worked on, and uh, hopefully we will see it in the next couple releases. Hopefully. Hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed. Keeping our fingers crossed... But uh, 
topic we've uh, spoke about before, and I think uh, we just need to talk a little bit more, but there was a comment that popped up in today's mail. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I thought I'd share this as well. I think everybody would be interested in this. I believe we did this one the other day, <clears throat> which was uh, vendor mannequins. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we've all talked about, uh, you know, having the capability of uh, inky on a vendor uh, mannequin, having both inky and vendor capabilities, and just any of the NPCs having, having all of those. Uh. So where is the radio this day, Morgoth? It's in the middle. Right there, yeah. You want to you answer them in-game? <laughs> I see. I gotta get over there. I know you guys. There you go. By the horsey. <laughs> What's up, Morgoth? I don't think he got it. Oops. He's looking for it. Anyway. Um, yeah, mannequins uh, that can act as vendors, but uh, this was uh, added today, uh, very early this morning. Not sure if this would become a major headache for players, but I saw those boots on your mannequin. Can you take them off just so I can buy them? Um, you know, there's a question of are people willing to sell that stuff as well? Uh, but what you really need is a way for players to wander your shop making the items... Marking the items that you, you know, that they want to purchase. Then going to the vendor to add other items. Check out, make the payment. Uh, player shops would be a lot more interesting, of course, if that'd just be an option. Players st still could have everything listed to purchase like they are now. Just the ability to mark items for purchase would be an added option. So, um, Krampus, what's going on? Winter is coming. <laughs> They let you get away with that? That's cool. <laughs> that is cool. So, uh, gonna take a quick run over to the shop here and just, uh... Because <clears throat> I think that would also be another killer idea if we could uh, attach something like that. And uh, we're gonna take a run. Anybody wants to join me from the lot, otherwise you can all <clears throat> just sit there and watch me run over be great if we could just have items and say all these items that i have you know sitting in the shop all these artifacts and stuff if they were listed for sale you could just come in and go add to cart you know click on it maybe have a cash register sitting there you know just for giggles and grins as the vendor but uh, have have that capability well if you come over into have the something be convenient <clears throat> uh, the post that i just read if you were paying attention that was yeah, well, of course. It's just like everybody, just like everybody else on staff around here. I tell you, nobody pays attention to anything. <laughs> and y'all wonder why you don't get paid or have contracts. I tell you. <laughs> Where's my two dollars? <clears throat> oh, that's very. Yeah, where's my two dollars? Uh, Traded Krampus in 2017 before the fake Krampus got added. <laughs> Very like cool. Very cool. Yeah, well, yeah, it was really uh, nice that he's able to pull that off with the mask as well, um, yeah. since the mask was added. And uh, yeah, speaking of adding things to game, that, that would be cool. The idea, Schroeder, basically is if you have your shop set up, say the, uh, you know, the studio here is the shop, and we wanted to sell the cake and the garden gnome and the basket and the corn and the pianos, you could just mark those as sellable, and somebody yeah. can wander in and just click on that and add it to the cart, basically. I add it to the vendor. Yeah. Cool. I was being sarcastic, though. Yeah, well, yeah, want you're, things to be convenient. you're a smart ass, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we love you. Well, that sounds like a cool idea, though. Yeah, but that that would be a really cool idea to get added in there. So now, again... You can uh, see it before they buy it, and whatever. Well, A is uh that and just uh just a convenient way just like you would go into any store um yeah you can you know you go into a store and you got to go find the right aisle that your product's in and 
you know, may maybe even, you know, expand that. I mean, may maybe, uh, make each floor in the inn, you know, different, you know, as, uh, you know, floor, floor, floor one is kitchen wares, you know, floor two is bedding, floor three is swimwear, you know, <laughs> shit like that. Okay, what do we got in chat here? Yeah, dressing vendors, uh, Draken is another thing. I mean, a combination now, this, this is where the disconnect happens, okay? We've had vendors, and everybody said we want to dress our vendors. So what did they do? They created mannequins so that we could dress mannequins, which is not what we asked for. We asked if we could dress our vendors. So... Of course, now we have this next NPC that is just a mannequin. And don't get me wrong. Cool tech. It works. Uh, maybe proof of concept to be able to add and combine them all later. I'm, again, keeping fingers crossed. Uh, I want to see D, all of the above. I want to see Inky. I want to see Dressable. I want to see... Uh, uh, what's the other one? <laughs> what, um, was that limited? A thousand characters is that still a thing no that is not still a thing on the uh, inky conversationalists uh, i think the the minimum on the free ones now is five thousand and let's go to the crown store real quick That's better and then i think the conversationalists are ten thousand i think it tells you cool um uh, what do we call those town improvements other I don't know what are we calling those in the uh, store these days I thought they were conversationalists homes home decor recently added no I, I got con I'm not getting anything any help <laughs> are they not there anymore they should be let's see recently added that's all that stuff the vault no they wouldn't be in the vault I'm looking at the vault I want that chest I think that that's used storage. to only be able to get that with the bundle right what's that <clears throat> that obsidian or Oh, that's the cobalt chest. I thought that was... Yes, that was ori originally just a bundle item. But where the hell are conversationalists? What is it listed under? For crying out loud. How's oh, Deco? Deco? Let's see. Vendors? Let's see if it's under vendors. Shopkeeps? No. Mannequins. You would think they would make this easy for us to find these things. Hey, runic letter set. Uh, yeah, that's a topic we gotta talk about. <laughs> Can we talk? Lord. You know, I don't think I've ever had a problem finding something in the store. <laughs> just skip it adventure design oh, look at that but why doesn't conversationalist come up when I type in con ver it oh, there it is finally it didn't come up earlier <laughs> what's it yeah no, they, don't, they don't say Pep -cack. they don't Probably say the limit but I believe them. they're 10,000 is the uh, limit on the the paid one. So you can you can actually do quite a bit with them these days. Thank you, treasure. Appreciate it. So yeah, let's uh let's talk about those uh I I've actually got these <clears throat> because uh, I was going to talk about this. The runic letter set. Uh, anybody got some of these? Did anybody get these when they came out back in, you know, back a long time ago? 
Everybody is any, got them if you had to any, pledge. Any, 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 anybody ever read the signs in the background on the wall <laughs> of the inn? No? Yeah, I know you can't really see it from this vantage point, but I figured, you know, people would actually, uh, you know, maybe want to come up and go see. I... I love this shit. Yes, that's right. But uh, thanks to Elrond, and uh, for those of you folks, I'm actually going to share this with you all also. If you're not in our Discord, uh, this is where I post all this stuff, but uh, you should be in our Discord if you're not. Hmm. Can we get some letters, please? So we don't have to write stuff with eggs. <laughs> and of course, this is a, uh, a happening trend throughout the world. I've even taken a crack at it. And uh, you know what? I went, screw that noise. This is too much of a pain in the ass. Um, especially when you want to do something. Uh, you guys know, um, you know, we, we, we are not the first, but we are, you know, we have our own style with the cheesy and sausage writing right here on the lot that uh, we've got. So we, we've been using food to do writing for ages. Eggs are the newest thing because you can put eggs on walls. But uh, be nice to have a set of letters just like uh, our runic letter set uh, that we could mm. you know, place and put. And I of think course, I prefer the uh, versatility <clears throat> of the other methods because you might not like the font that they come out with well and there therein was part of you know one of the things that i was gonna toss into that if we're gonna if we do get something like that added then we we definitely need to make it um a, a micro transaction you know a couple bucks and have several different fonts available and sizes as well um, you know, big font, big you know, big and small fonts. Uh, plus, uh, you know, and and make it you know worth worth everybody's while, so that uh, you can put it. Because notice he's using in this, he's actually using the uh, the hell's the name of it, the message board. And it would be nice to be able to have letters that you can put on the message board and just put a message up there that says, welcome. You know, just like resources are done here. And he's got a little arrow pointing there. Now, of course, um, you want you a know, message you, on your message board? You want a message on your message board? Imagine that. <clears throat> now, again, you know, we, where we have a disconnect, you know, we wanted message boards. We asked for message boards and... <clears throat> what we wanted was message boards like, uh, um, which we call it, like like the old uh, the, like the old UO. You can go to a town, go up to the message board, you can post on it, and uh, <clears throat> you know, say, hey, I'm looking for this. Somebody contact me. I I live here, you know, or hey, I I, I found this. Uh, <clears throat> like a forum yeah. message board kind of thing. Hmm. Crossfire Bugs Eye, yes, we have commercials running during the stream now. As uh, they should have been running the whole time, they just haven't been. Uh, <clears throat> we've got we've got ways to you know try and make this thing you know support itself, and uh, they actually run. If you want to be commercial free, subscribers get a commercial free viewing. So. Um, that was supposed to be working. I don't you know why worked. it didn't. It's a quick 30-second commercial, so it shouldn't be. Yeah, well, uh, that's another thing. But, uh, you know, it helps support us, helps keep keep the stream, pays the bills. And, uh, you know, the bills bills do get hefty at times because shit breaks and got to be replaced. And believe, me, believe it or not, shit breaks more often than you would think. <clears throat> but anyway, also... Uh, Let's see, is it, it let, let's try it. Let's see if it's actually working or see if somebody will will try it. <laughs> Chip clips on the main Twitch page. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's part that's part of the monthly giveaway, so of course it's on the main page. Right below there, that's right. Click on there for the monthly giveaways. Chip clips. 
I wonder why or, or, that one has got more chain on it than the other two. I don't That's know. Very, it's interesting. Oh, yeah. I love free shit. I guess I should open up a giveaway. I haven't done that yet. Start with 10,000 gold. I know I talked up the other giveaway that's happening at the end. We'll give away 10,000 gold for starters today. Sorry about that, folks. I'm slacking. I see you all typing it, and I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. But again, uh, end of the show. Going to go give away one of them mystery keys today. So uh, hang, hang around. Stay tuned for that. And uh, what was I just talking about? Ah, yes, the commercial breaks. Uh, but Lutz, uh, if you notice, uh, there's a link there. Somebody click that link and send us a message and tell me if that's actually working. Or it'll, we'll know. It, it'll, it'll play a little advertisement, but allows you guys to interact with us, get a message to us on screen, plays a little commercial in the corner, and generates some revenue. So, uh, you know, Laz is crazy. He, he tries everything and anything he can to make a buck to pay the bills and... Uh, <clears throat> the commercials are running. Thank you. I don't have any bits. Well, watch a, watch an ad down there, and you know, Twitch will give you some free bits for watching commercials too. You know. <laughs> yeah, if you click on the if you click on the bits thingy down there, should give you an option to watch watch a commercial and earn some bits, doesn't it? Get bits. Get bits, yeah. I've watched ad, but it's grayed out. Oh well, then you you have you've earned all your bits on my channel, then I guess. I, I guess. The, whatever. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I just work here. It's probably because I block ads. Oh well, you know that that would probably be why. Yeah. I don't have time Again. For that shit. Hey, believe it or not, you know, it does, doesn't, you know, make a lot of money, but it pays enough to, you know, take care of a bill or two eventually, you know. Website generates enough, but, you know, I got to pay out every other year or so, you know. It's, it's not big money, but it, it, you know, it comes in handy when it, when it shows up. That's all I'm saying. Ads not blocked. I don't know, whatever. No, I'm, I'm saying what mom mom says out there. What do you, what's what do you mean ads not blocked? With an ad blocker, you're still seeing ads, mom? No, I can't she, block her bits at all. She what's that? Have the don't have an ad blocker up, and it still won't let me watch videos for bits. It hasn't for months. I don't even get the option. Oh, oh okay. Interesting. Oh. Is uh, so it's disabled, I guess. No, I mean I I just did it the other night on. Uh, What's her name? Stream Graceful Bard. And again, maybe maybe uh, click click on. I'll tell you what. Uh, both of you is click on like channel of the avatar and try it. See see if it works on his channel real quick. Let me let me know if you can get money for watching his channel. <laughs> so give it don't get you. any money for watching my don't get any money for watching my channel. I bet you you get money for watching somebody else's channel. <laughs> I've tried it on every stream I go on. Really? Same. Okay. Great out for some reason. Try yep. again later. Try again later. No, again, I was I just did it the other day. Is uh, I've I've actually got enough bits to actually make it worthwhile uh, donating to now. So <laughs> I think I've got a dollar five there to give somebody finally. Alrighty! Exclamation! I love free shit. There's 10,000 gold for the uh, first giveaway here. Again, I was slacking, so I apologize. I see it didn't, didn't stop everybody. Everybody got in and, uh, you know, I was making sure they're in it. <clears throat> Drac, I don't know. He says he can't do it either. I never could because I'm from Canada. Yeah, well, yeah. We discriminate against you Northerners. <laughs> now, I apologize. Uh, yeah, you guys get you guys get screwed on a lot of things. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, you do. They have health care. Yeah, well, 
I, I won't even I won't even go there. Don't even go there. Alrighty, uh, what do we got up next? Somebody, somebody's what? asking where we are in Owl's Head. Owl's Head, come all the way back. back. We're up in the guarded, gated, gated protection. We pay for protection because, you know. Fancy. We're, we're, we're too scared to go out with the real people. Let the plebs deal with the nonsense. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, let let those peasant folk down there in the lower market, you know, keep to themselves. Yeah, come on back. Come all the way up to the bank and then uh come through the alley, right right next to the bank. I'll meet you in the alley. <laughs> Steal all your gold. All right, moving right along. Not much from the Twitterverse. Absolutely nothing from the Twitterverse, tell you the truth. There uh, hasn't been much coming out of Catnip Games the last couple days as Chris is laying low and doing his thing. But uh, let's get to, to our next topic. I'm going to remind you one more time, last minute to get in. I'll pull the giveaway here in a second. And then... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> and then we'll get on to this topic. Minds play. Is minds play? I don't even see minds play. Who's minds play? <clears throat> I would do that, Drac, but uh, there is I'll no minds the play. <laughs> Let's see. Ed Friend. Is he, is he the newbie? Is you, is you is or is you ain't? The gutter snipe. Find out in a moment. Mike Lee getting in on that last minute. He is. Or he is. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> there you go. That'll allow you to find us. Let's see how far away he is. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Yeah, never mind. He's already there. <laughs> Fire troll. You any relation to bridge troll? Love that outfit. <laughs> need some flaming leather armor is what you really need. <clears throat> All right, gotta close the giveaway. <clears throat> gotta pick our first winner for today. And Torque, congratulations, you are the winner. Where did you go? He was right here. He must have lost connection. <clears throat> Torque, you've won. Are you go coming back to the lot or should I mail it to you? He's coming back. All right. <clears throat> Very cool. Very cool. All right. Next giveaway. A mystery game key. I think I spelt that right. And if not, oh well. Who cares? I love this shit. <clears throat> mystery game key like i said uh i've got uh, a whole bunch of game keys uh to give away i got 50 plus don't forget i've still got a couple of those atari packs that i'm going to uh throw into the mix over the next couple weeks so i still got some of them so uh exclamation i love free shit and uh, we will reveal your mystery game for the winner at the end i will tell you what it is i won't reveal the key here publicly of course because we don't want people stealing your key but i will let you know what that when what, what that is when you get here so all right torque is back here you go torque 
10,000 gold. Congratulations. And we're going to be giving away a lot of these things. So uh, you're going to want to tune in weekdays here. 12 to 1. Never know what you're going to find. Never know if Jack's going to show up. Never know if he's ever going to apologize to Scrota. And that is uh, the days of our lives right here inside Shot of the Avatar. <laughs> I see, I see you guys are continuing with the conversation in Discord this morning. <laughs> yeah. That's is, uh, just silly. Yeah, I, I watched a couple minutes of that video clip and uh, just chuckling because, I mean, it, it, it's just like a, a face palm every single time. It's yeah. like, don't, 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 <laughs> don't. <laughs> We just blew up Much. Chewie. No. Chewie's yeah, not dead. No. <laughs> that was Bridge when I saw that part in the theater. I was like, why did she just kill Chewie instead of letting him go? What the fuck? We got your cousin Fire Troll sitting here on set. Yeah, Fire Troll sitting there on the gold pile. There you go. There you go. Trying to blend in, sneak up on those PVPers. <clears throat> All right, uh, Duke Vallis uh, got something to say. Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong board. Player-driven economy and consequences, and uh, I, I've had the occasion to speak with Duke Vallis uh, over the years, a longtime friend, and he keeps me updated on what's going on out with the folks at Bear. <clears throat> if you guys don't know, uh, he's one of the main movers and shakers <clears throat> behind the Bear Guild. <clears throat> but, hello all, long-time lurker, seldom forum person, poster, and even fewer Forum warrior, yeah, fewer forum warrior, and uh, it's been a wild, wide watching, wild, yeah, wide. Yeah, I think he meant ride. Been a wild, wide. I think he was expecting Jack to read this. Watching soda grow and develop from those early days of windowless box and a chicken to where we are now. I really do love the game and how it's developed. However, there's been a question in the back of my mind for a while now. How does the economy thrive and mature, thrive in a mature environment? Most of the people I see are oldies with vast gulf of experience and resources between the new and the old. Consequently, it feels like we're in a situation where the old leave due to lack of challenge and the young find themselves at almost impossible odds, particularly those who fancy establishing themselves in trade surrounded by proverbial giants. In a situation like that, it's hard to establish the necessary depth that an increasingly selective market are looking for. <clears throat> and, mm, yeah, he gets deep into this. <clears throat> there are two conditions that arguably, arguably make a good MMO. A challenging consequence. Making something hard yet achievable establishes goals and something to work towards with the payoff at the end. I'd argue that the challenge isn't so much there these days, particularly in light of the XP increases. In addition, for more than a few skills, there really isn't a middle... There isn't a market for the goods that are produced due to players, lack of attrition on the goods and items, etc. The consequences in terms of XP, unquestionably... But not so when it comes to the goods and equipment. If you die, your stuff stays with you. Not much is truly at risk. Therefore, there isn't much need to replace expensive equipment. And in addition, trades like food, etc. are okay, but they're far from a burning necessity. Hmm, I don't know about that part, but... Uh, got Heinlein fan? Absolutely. You wouldn't know it, would you? <laughs> I'd be really interested to see if others would be interested to see the proverbious perilous hard mode. Cough, cough, yeah, which uh, we've asked for in the past. 
uh, full yeah. loot, PvP, yeah, all that good stuff, which necessitates a solid economic cord and encourages player interac interaction, drives profession, and gives greater meaning to giving new players a fighting chance at pitching in at their professions early on to meet demand. Need to eat? Vendor flogging squirrel bits on a stick will do. But no immediate supply. Oh, yep, yeah, dues. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You've been robbed of all your belongings. Yeah, basically, yeah. Life in a tough world. And uh, there, there are, and then, of course, yeah, let's get down to this stuff. Uh, Ballas is a big list of unfair ideas, and Jack should have been here today for this one. Maybe we'll revisit it tomorrow. Seven-time GM skills. Classic Ultima rules. Now you have to rely on others to make things for you or shell out alts, you know, but uh, that's that's no big deal on alts, man. Counts are free. Uh, those of us early backers, most of us have three characters to begin with, which I, I never use. And a lot of us early backers bought multiple accounts just to support the game and get some more goodies, which, of course, uh, I think in total I've got uh, a or stable... Let a band. Yeah, well, yeah, my, there you go. Like Scrota to make a band. <laughs> uh, 7 GM skill cap, uh, relying on others. If you die, your gear falls, um, you know, and can be looted with the risk of being deemed criminal. Three. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I love that one. That's just classic. Uh, <clears throat> you can be murdered anywhere. Uh, bar specifically assigned a areas. Criminals will, of course, be flagged. Um, again, open PvP, something that we've called for seven time, uh, you know, several times. Thieves can operate air anywhere. Uh, with appropriate response, if detected, absolutely. If you get caught trying to pickpocket somebody, you can whoop his ass and kill him right there on the spot, even if you're not flagged. Uh, things like that would be absolutely wonderful. Uh, NPCs sell you the barest of essentials at four times the going rate and to encourage playing, you know, playing with others, playing well with others. Uh, if you don't eat or drink, you get sick, you know. Um, a lot of games, actually, um, you can die if you don't eat uh, these days. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. I do like having the, you know, eat to keep yourself up. But, you know, the dying thing, you know, I'm not a fan of. But, uh, yeah, that's another story. Uh, equipment can only be repaired so much. Um, I, I, I have a caveat with that, I guess. Weapons and armors will break. Clothing will spoil. You know, clothes will get spoiled, and you'll need to maintain and replace gear. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> greater effects for alcohol. Bacon. I don't know about that. Bacon. Alcohol yeah, I'm bacon. sorry, but... I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't encourage it. For, first off, greater effects for alcohol. If I just take a simple drink in-game, forget about it. You go, you, you screen wobbles... <laughs> You wobble around and uh, it gets really funky. You got For a while, I... twenty-five year. Oh, I've got some twenty-five year. I know. I become a hell of a boxer after I drink some of that stuff. I tell you what. <laughs> but uh, yeah, several of these ideas, Valis. I gotta say, uh, yeah, I agree with the seven-time GM. I don't think is absolutely one of those things. Uh, we were already way past that, so to try and roll that back, first off, that would be almost impossible. Um, I love the if you die, your equipment drops there and you have to go get it back. And I also like the fact that, uh, you know, if somebody steals or, tr you know, tries to loot your body, uh, you know, they get flagged and you can hunt them down and kill them. Now, um, all that stuff is stuff that... <clears throat> Um, many, many people were looking for to give them that wonderful old UO, you know, you know, warm, fuzzy feelings and all that good stuff. Um, and again, love it. Um, as it is now, ooh, well, you can't even talk, let alone go, ooh, ooh, ooh um, when you die here in Shroud. Um, 
I, I would like to see uh, something like that, a spirit speak uh, so that you could talk to the dead. That would be nice. Um, thieving, pickpocketing. the other dead. Or, or yeah, you just want to hang out dead and, uh, you know, talk, talk to your other party members, you know, so you can sit there and uh, cuss out. You know, the, the healer who didn't heal you or the tank who didn't do his job properly or the bard who... Uh, That's too easy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, so you know, we can have a little fun while we're dead. Uh, murdered anywhere, of course. Yeah, you, that can happen now um, only if you flag PvP. And again, uh, I'm, I'm used to a lot of the games nowadays. Uh, again, I play Red Dead 2. I play GTA 5 uh, in, in the online modes. And in those those games, there is no, you know, no PvP. Everybody is killable, and you can just walk up to somebody and shoot them dead for no reason whatsoever. And go on with your day. <clears throat> now, again, those games don't require you to go back and pick up your shit. Um, GTA sends you to the hospital. Uh, Red Dead, you just spawn randomly someplace close by and you can, you know, pick up where you left off. But slightly different mechanics in several different games, but I'd still like to see something more where, yeah, you know, <clears throat> maybe places like Owl's Head would be a safe town. Solton would be a safe town. You know, you'd have a couple safe towns you can go for. And I would also like to see anybody who's, um, you know, if we're going to use that virtue system, then anybody who's inherently really bad, you know, cer certain, you know, vendors just won't deal with you if you're too bad. You know, if you're out there stealing from everybody and killing and pillaging and looting uh, and you get a reputation out there and the vendors are going to tell you, hey, dude, you know, take, take a hike. We don't want to talk. We don't deal with your kind here. <clears throat> Mm, let's see, uh, what do we got here? Bus fire bugs eye. You know, now that that's and that's uh, on the main topic of that. Absolutely, um, I don't think there's that much of a disparagement between new players coming in and, um, you know, players who've been established. I've seen plenty of new players come and establish themselves as tradesmen and get started. Uh, but one of my favorite of all time, of course, is Caballero. Caballero came in, started with a base account, and now he's got stuff all over the damn place. Uh, of course, you know, you got to get out there and promote yourself. Shameless self-promotion is a big part of that. You know, getting driving people to your vendors so that you can get drive more sales and buy more stuff to get more locations. You know, it's possible. I mean, heck, there's places for sale here in Owl's Head. People can get good spots here in Owl's Head, Sultan. Um, you just got to haggle and, uh, you know, get yourself a good hustle going. But uh, also, what was I going to say on that? Uh, yeah, um, things like having your stuff fixed. I think that, you know, as a GM Smith and as, you know, again... 100 with a 200 skill cap that's unattainable gm at 100 i still don't agree with that's just my personal thing um if you're at the max then you should be yeah but uh basing it on your repairs by by your skill you know if you want your shit repaired you want to find the best smith to repair your equipment end of story and that's the guy you want to seek out and you'll, you'll have a list of people to go to and that's the, you know, that's part of the end game. Why do I want to get into this and become a master smith? Because I want to be that guy. And why do I want to put that extra two or three points in that skill? Because, you know, um, again, takes time, takes effort, but it's quite possible to do. But we don't have that skill. Anybody can just take a repair kit or throw some kodos on something and repair something, which just destroys all that player interaction, which, you know. Again, I, I miss that. I miss having to find somebody to repair something or build something for me. Um, also, yes, um, if you're in that massive battle and, you know, some troll or some dragon busts your equipment up at some point, um, I believe it should be broken equipment um, if you let it get to such state of disrepair. Now, of course, if you keep your, your armor up and repaired, that's fine. But if you're down to, you know, 
10% or less and something gives you a crushing blow and damages it, that's it. It should shatter your equipment. You can put it on the shelf and make it look pretty and go, I remember when I had that really cool armor before I fucked it up. Yeah. And then it should be, yeah. Should be, be just... It, what's that? That might be depressing, though. Well, that's that's where the fun comes in. I mean, I've been wearing the same armor for, you know, the only time I go up in armor is when I'm looking for a little bit more of a boost. And again, finding that armor is far few in between. But uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, let me see, I can switch over from here, right? Let's put on my, my armor set here. Let's bring up my paper doll. Uh, and the durability that I'm sitting with with some of these things is just ludicrous. Uh, my, my helmet, uh, durability, 62 of 65. 62, 61 of 62. Let's, let's see, my leggings have a max durability of 21. My bracers, max durability of 50. Max durability of 60. And my bow with a max durability of 50. So I'm not, I'm not sporting anything with 100 or 150 durability by any means. Um, and, you know, even with the max durability of 21 um, on my leggings, I haven't replaced these things in God knows how long. I just keep repairing them. <laughs> keep repairing them. Now, of course, there's a lot to be said for this stuff, too, if the Royal Founder stuff, because this stuff has a max durability and never goes anywhere. And you can do some pretty cool stuff with some newbie armor and some, uh, you know, Royal Founder stuff. If you, you put together a nice little stuff, you know, a little set. Uh, Jack's run around with the, with the newbie set for ages. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, again... Max durability, max fix fixable. I still want to get that dual sort of Bahir build going. I've got a couple of those still floating around and uh, see how that goes. Go back to a swordsman. But as long as uh, archery is the way it is, well, you know, I became an archer, which is totally against my normal character class. So it is what it is. But anyway, moving right along. Exclamation. I love free shit. We're doing a mystery game key giveaway. These are Steam keys. And it looks like nobody wants no free games. <clears throat> or it's just everybody slacking this, you know, towards the end of the show here. <clears throat> we got to tell you about the NBNN Strategy Avatar Community Calendar, which is hosted on nbnn.info and brought to us by our friends at shroudmarketplace.com. All your virtual vendable goods. It's Taco Tuesday. Not much happening here in the game, but uh, plenty happening on the airwaves. Don't forget, 12s and 6s around the clock. Lunch with Laz Lunch. and Jack. Lunch <laughs> with Laz and Jack right here. Point. That's right. Now, who, who does Lunch. a show called Lunch? Yeah. Lunch. It's the name of the show, right? Yeah, okay. With Laz and Jack. <laughs> that's right 70s at 7 tonight on wrfb and of course the last event the record room with my old man and his partner tommy giving you a rock and roll history lesson five nights a week right here on wrfb don't forget all sorts of great stuff happening throughout the week parson barn vassler fridays we got the ladies killing it on saturdays Omen Crow bringing in the late night on Saturday night, early Sundays. And uh, Omen Crow, get well, buddy. He's in the ER right now. He's not feeling feeling too hot, but uh, <clears throat> he'll be back with us shortly. Yeah, he's been keeping me updated. He was feeling a little under the weather, but uh, his blood count got a little funky, so he had to go in and uh, get it taken care of. So get well soon, Omen Crow. And, of course, uh, don't forget music, hourly world news, and all sorts of crazy stuff throughout the week on WRFB.rocks. So, don't forget to catch us in the in-game radio as well. Exclamation, I love free shit. See, you, see some of you is all catching up. There you go. WRFB. 
That's right. W R F P. Not saying it right. W R F P. R F P. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But you're watching lunch on NDNN. Dot info twitch dot tv slash cinesis not today twitch dot tv slash nbnn news catching us in replays on youtube and or twitch we do appreciate it and if you're tuned in and you haven't clicked those buttons click them now for us we do appreciate it click those follow buttons click those notify buttons click those subscribe buttons even more and of course don't forget thanks to you folks Keeping us here five and a half plus years, bringing you the news five days a week. Cheering in bits is our preferred method of support. We get to keep every penny of that. Of course, subscribe. If you got Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription every month. Don't put it to waste. It helps us pay the bills. Use it on our streams. We do appreciate it. And of course, uh, you can click the links below. Donate direct. Go onto the website. Click the links there. Uh... Become a patron, sign up, get yourself some cool swag rewards and some cool digital rewards. Become a wiener. Oh, become a wiener. That's right. Become a big supporter. We do appreciate you all. And, of course, thanks for tuning in because, again, if you guys didn't tune in, we wouldn't be here. And uh, we do appreciate it. The BMC wants you to check out Black Rock Cove, which is located in the Quell region near the town of Etzer, conveniently located next to the mines that you want to be near. If you're one of them crazy miner types and you want to be near mines, you want to set up shop, go check out Black Rock Cove. You can be right near those mines and sell your wares. Don't forget to go check them out today. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24-7 around the clock, including us at 12s and 6s, Mondays through Fridays, right here on your in-game radio. Well, that's loud. Yeah, well, you know, play it, man, play it. I like it. <laughs> Jack's not here. He ain't gonna come take a seat back. He ain't gonna take a seat back. The manard! Thank you! Hitting us with a sub. Piano? What's that? <laughs> Never mind. Trapmusic.com for your ABC file needs. Maynard, give me a track number. I think I can squeeze one in here. Caffius is where's on Trout Marketplace. Don't forget, Trout Caffius has got all your wood goods set up in Shroud Marketplace. So if you need wood and you ain't got time to go get it yourself, go check out Caffius's wares. And, of course, ShroudMarketplace.com, the place to go for all your virtual vendable goods inside Shroud of the Avatar. If you need goods, go check out ShroudMarketplace.com today. Sign up and become a vendor. Go, go, go visit all of our shops. Get yourself some more stuff. And he says random. Go so Scroda's music thing. That's right. Go, you can go do Scroda's music thingy. And Scroda will play anything you want. That's right. He said random. So we're going to go out today on a random race. <clears throat> and then uh, we will pull our... I'm just going to jump in, click start, 69 seconds. Actually, yeah, I'll let it run. I know the guy owns the radio station. It's okay if we run over. Exclamation play, get in on the action. Exclamation, I love free shit. We're going to go out on a bang. Thank you, Maynard, for your sub. Appreciate it, brother. Always good seeing you out there. The blue hole. The blue hole. That's right. Get a chance to win 10 scrolls. If you win the game. And, of course, <clears throat> chance to win a mystery key if you win the raffle. Happening just a couple minutes. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and take a peek, see who's going to be out there, who will raid on the way out today. <clears throat> and we got Drizzitz or Orlean. I didn't do Orlean yesterday like Jack did, so I'll do him today. As we get ready to race, good luck, everybody. As we head on down the track. Uh, 
And I'm going to go this way. There we go. Let's see who drops through the blue hole first. As they're rimming the hole round and round and round and round. They don't want to quit. Yep, they're just sitting there. Everybody they just like wants to, they just wants to go spinny, 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 spinny. <laughs> Around the hole. Let's say somebody got to pull the plug or something. The, the hole plug. <laughs> there we go. The Irish eyes out ahead of everybody. Everybody else is still spinning while Irish eyes now treasure piles out. Okay. Mind that play. Now we got some people coming in, but Irish Eyes is about to take that first jump. As we watch her take a de commanding lead here. Oh, Bridge Troll comes flying by with the push and... Bridge Trolls ejected! Irish Eyes slow and steady. Almost had her, BT. Oh, they're all far behind. Oh, man. Now I'll see. Here you go. Here's Scrod. Scrod's catching up. Mind that play. Catching up. Let's see what happens when we get to the pegboards. Irish Eyes going to make it through. Yes, she does. She gets held up a little bit. We're going to have a race. Who's going to make it in first? Looks like Irish Eyes for the win. Congratulations, Irish. Who just got ejected? I just saw somebody get popped up. Drag attack just got ejected on the way out. Congratulations, Irish Eyes, and of course, thanks to everybody for joining us here today on stream. We do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and wrap things up here on NBN until tomorrow. So let's go ahead and roll those wonderful credits. Hey. hey All right. Vosh said rim that hole. Rim that hole. They did it for a long time. They did. Winner, Irish Eyes. And we got to say thank you to Eagle and Waldo for those cheers today. To Maynard for his sub. Thank you very much and all of you for joining us. We're going to close the giveaway. We're going to pick ourselves a winner. And Crossfire Bugs Eye, congratulations, you are the winner. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to get over here. We're going to open this up real quick. And we're going to tell you at least what your game is before we get out of here today. Micro Machines World Series. Congratulations. You won Micro Machines World Series. So that's the game you have won. And we are going to get out of here for today. So congratulations to Crossfire Bugs Eye. We'll be back with more tomorrow, right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Laz. Good Jack's up, Jack. not here. That's right. That's Scrota. That voice That's in my ear. Bye-bye. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. Crossfire Bugs Eye. Hit me up in Discord. I'll send you your key. And we'll get you all taken care of. And we'll see you all tomorrow.